Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for why does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, why are they not contacting you? So we're going to examine why they're not contacting you, okay? And I'm going to use three different decks for that. And then we're going to look at what do they want to say to you that they haven't said to you, okay? Just to kind of get more clarity of like, okay, what do they want to say to you? Uh, and then we're going to look at will they contact you okay and then we're going to see what kind of good things are coming up for you in your romantic love life okay my darlings thank you guys so much for liking sharing and subscribing and thank you to my members uh, also i want to make note of this because you guys have mentioned this in the comments quite a few of you actually said you're not getting your notifications all you have to do is you push the subscribe button and the bell notification if you push the bell notification you will get your notifications okay and also, guys, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And of course, I haven't done this reading in a very long time. I think it's been a, it's been a while. So if you guys want me to do this reading again for you, let me know by hitting that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Okay, as you can see, I have three different decks here to find out why they're not contacting you. All right, so why is Sagittarius' love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is their love interest not contacting them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's deck one. Why is Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is Sagittarius' love interest not contacting them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Why is Sagittarius' love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? Why is Sagittarius' love interest not contacting them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's lay these eyes aside here, guys. And let's stand on these cards here. Okay, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the full card energy, we have the four of cups, we have the eight of wands, we have the nine of cups. Let's lay down one more here. We have the eight of cups. We have the seven of swords, the ace of pentacles, the five of swords, the justice, the queen of swords, the queen of wands. Okay, so let's put this aside. You know, if you guys could give me a suggestion on how to keep this camera in focus, please let me know in the comments below. It's driving me crazy. This camera just won't stay in focus. Okay, so let's also throw down these cards next. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. The Queen of Wands. And the... Yeah, the Nine of Swords, wow. You know what, I'll just do these cards next after this. Okay, so let's pull this down. Some of you, your people are focused on work, okay, or school, or having a sense that they have a lot of, it, it takes, it's gonna take them a lot of work and effort, to be honest. They have a sense that they don't know if they wanna take a risk here because they have to offer something of value here where money is involved somehow with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? They want to fulfill their desires, okay? And they're looking at memories of the past and they do want something stable here with the Four of Wands energy. They're concerned whatever they offer you, you won't accept or they're gonna miss some kind of opportunity. Now it could be around work for some of you or money related when they want to take these risks here with the full card energy. And it's like looking at this Eight of Pentacles, which for me is a sense of work and effort or work. And definitely there's a lot of money cards there. And the Four of Wands can talk about a stable situation, you know, prosperity as well. And they're defeated here. They don't know how to communicate this to you about this decision, okay? So they need to make some kind of decision, even though they feel like things are a bit lopsided right now. And they're defeated about, how do I do this? I want to fulfill my desires here. 
I want to reconcile here. I'm thinking about the past. I want a stable situation. I find you so attractive with the Queen of Wands energy, but I'm stressing about this situation. And you know what? I want to fulfill what I want here. I want what I want, and I don't know how to speak this truth to you. And so I'm just not going to deal with it right now. And I know you're very attractive with the Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So going further on this, the sense of work, they don't know how to be honest. They're, they, they, they're hiding their thoughts about what they really want. We see that the full card could represent someone new or wanting to look at someone new, okay, possibly some kind of new potential, okay, or this, they're concerned about the sense of risk here and an opportunity of something long-term because of things to do with the past. They're hoping that they don't miss an opportunity though with the Four of Cups energy or they have a sense whatever they're offering to you, you won't accept and it's making them feel defeated about a long-term stable situation. They want to communicate with you with the Eight of Wands energy about this decision and this attraction. You do have everything that they want and they want to speak that truth to you but they're just not dealing with their emotions and because of the fact that there is a walking away from the whole situation when it comes to this attraction because they're worried. Okay, so going further on this. They're concerned about the blame. And they're worried about the blame. And they just want to be in a peaceful mindset. In their indecisions. Because they lack the courage. They are ready for a change, but they don't know if they can accept it because they want success and friendship to be brought into balance. This person is concerned about growth, but they don't know if they can deal with the judgment. And so they're deciding to be in denial. There's an envy within them about the sense of you being very honest. They don't know how to be honest about this. They want your forgiveness, but they have the sense of guilt and they don't know if they should just surrender to it and stay in the, the grief mode and be free from the situation. So they're just gonna continue. I see this situation where they're just wallowing in this and they're not wanting to deal with stuff. You have people like this, right? Sagittarius, like this person, your person seems to be like, they wanna be, they, they don't feel like they can be the real you or more or less be the real them with you. And so instead of just being real about that and being honest about that, they'd rather not tell you and hide that from you and be hot and cold. Um, so they don't wanna deal with that so that's why they're not contacting. Okay, so let's find out. Let's find out what do they want to say to you that they haven't said. Okay, so what does Sagittarius is love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does this person, their love interest, the one they're not in contact with, what do they want to say to them that they haven't said to them? What do they want to say to Sagittarius that they haven't said to them? Some of the cards they need to see. Some of the cards they need to see. What does Sagittarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Sagittarius's love interest, one that they're not in contact with, what do they want to say to Sagittarius that they haven't said? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's check this out, Sagittarius. Okay, we see there's a soulmate. Let's bring this down. Confusion, commitment, challenges, family, cutting, obsessions, indecisions, and trying to be hopeful. Okay. So what they want to say is they realize that there's a relationship and they're confused about the, this commitment. And 
there's delays and challenges because of their sense of responsibility or abundance here, because it's like the Ten of Pentacles energy, and they don't know how to cut those attachments. They are obsessed and do have strong desires for this relationship, but they're at a crossroads about if they're gonna make the best decision because they're confused. They're trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome with you and them when it comes to this commitment, if they can cut away these unhealthy attachments. Going further, they want you to know that nothing is gonna come from the situation because they're not gonna let the past hold them back. They just need some time to breathe. And they want you to know that your hard work will pay off because they're gonna make a move. They want you to see the bigger picture here, the higher perspective. And they want you to know that you need to release something. Or they want you to know that they're about to release something here. That the answers that you need are coming and prosperity lies ahead. They want it to be safe for them to love. And they want a win-win outcome when it comes to the relationship. But they need to wait for the energy to gain momentum in their favor. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's find out, let's find out if they're gonna contact you in the next couple months. Sagittarius is love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Sagittarius is love interest, the one they're not in communication with. Will Sagittarius's love interest contact them in the next couple of months? Show me the cards in need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's find out. Okay, we got the Knight of Swords. We have the King of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So far, we can confirm two positive cards. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Hierophant, which is a neutral card there. We have the Strength card. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Moon. Oh. Okay. So what I like to see is two positive cards here. Two positive cards out of three cards. Talks about a yes. I like to see a positive card here, it's neutral, and this is a negative. So let's talk about it. It looks like an abrupt action will be taken. Um, King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy because of money or family. There's a person that's going to be, they're gonna be trapped in their energy and their thoughts because of responsibilities and burdens of marriage. This person may lack the courage and strength and confidence here and wait around to see how things are going to play out because of their sense of confusion. Now, it's coming to an end though with the 10 energy being there, okay? Um, and so it's going, to, it's going to come to a completion here. We see that there will be a person who will take a leadership role. Now, Sagittarius, this seems to be your energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So I feel like if you want a positive outcome here, you want to communicate with them, you're going to have to take control of this because this person is going to continue to be trapped in their thoughts and wait around here because of marriage. This action will be taken here because of, or an action won't be taken because of lack of courage or strength or confidence and confusion because of money, finance, or family. So I see that if you take a leadership role, it can be positive for you, okay? But if you don't, there's going to be, this person's going to be confused and it's still some things yet to be decided. So you're going to have to take charge of this because we see this person, there is this want to take an action, right? But they want you to take charge of this King of Wands because of family long term. We see two people coming together because the King of Wands took a leadership role. When, I, when you think about king energy, I want you to think about this for all our readers out here. Okay, so you got the page, you got the queen, you got the knight, and you got the king, right? King encompasses page, knight, and queen. What do pages do? They communicate. What do knights do? They take action. What do queens do? They contemplate. So kings have all the energy. So this king is going to take a leadership role. They're going to take an action, a wise action, because of what? Family and long-term commitment. 
So an action because of the King of Wands towards family and long-term commitment, because otherwise there's this trapped energy. I got burdens, I got responsibility, there's something to do with this marriage, you know, and I lack the courage and strength and confidence, so I'm just gonna wait around, see how things are gonna play out, and I'm gonna continue to be confused. Okay, so you're gonna have to, if you want this to happen in the next couple months, you're gonna have to do something about it. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's find out some good things that are coming in for you. All right, so tell me some good stuff that's coming in for Sagittarius' romantic love life. What can they expect? What are some good things that are coming in for them? Show me the cards in need, you see? Show me the cards in need, you see? Okay, Sagittarius, let's find out. Oh, good, Ten of Pentacles. Family, well, that could reconfirm that Ten of Pentacles that we saw. Something long-term here, something traditional, some sense of security and prosperity coming in. And could be with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, okay? Uh, there is some potential exploratory energy, enthusiasm about this situation. Somebody that had kind of walked away, okay? And we see, yes, very saying, don't lose hope. You're gonna fulfill some things here. Things are going to come fast here. There's going to be some kind of communication speed that you need to make a decision about. You may be at a crossroads about the situation because of this person who walked away. Nine of Pentacles shows me that you guys are going to be a lot more independent and a lot more abundant there. And because of that, you're going to release some things and things are going to transform in your situation so that things can be brought into balance with the Six of Pentacles energy. Emperor is telling me you're going to gain your power here. And you're going to get clarity. Ace of Swords energy. Queen of Earth. There's a grounded energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It looks like whatever illusion's been going on, you're going to have some revelations around this in this defeated energy because of the, the fact that you're going to get a victory here in recognition. So someone who has been in their ego space, I feel like it's that person we were talking about, possibly their ego was hurt or the sense of dependency here. Now there's going to be this opportunity of true love coming in, an emotional bond here. And here we go, a renewal of the past, a rebirth happening. So we see there's a power move that's going to be made here to get clarity. And it's gonna be done from a grounded place a revolution about this defeated energy because of this victory, because of this willpower, because of this recognition of the fact that there were some dependencies and illusions here, which is going to be brought about because of love in a relationship. And this is going to bring the renewal and the rebirth here. Seven of Swords, there was somebody who wasn't being honest here about their wisdom and being patient, their intuition that needed to be brought into balance. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like to hit that like button, let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. There's the monthlies with the day-to-day -day and the overall, as well as the next two weeks, which for those of you guys who've been watching me for a while, you know the next two weeks is always broken up into two parts. Uh, the first part is for people who are you know, dating or have a love interest, and then the second part is for people who are, are single, okay? And tomorrow I'm coming out with the weeklies, which are my day-to-day -day and the overall. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. And yes, I read my comments, so I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments below.